Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Liang Chen. I'm currently a PhD student from US University, Dr. Lassen Group. And first of all, I feel so honored to have this chance to share my research with you to all the others here. And secondly, I think for me, a very good chance to have discussion with you. And it would be even better to have some insightful idea or opinion from the theoretical and the experimental side. And uh, let's go back to our talk. So I'm going to talk about the short noise measurement in, uh, in switch metal, which is including to silicon two and wire, and how the short noise indicates the light like particle in this strange metal. Since the environment in the, the street, so we compare it with some normal. So let's first start with the, the normal metal. And then we take further back, step, further step, further step by the, the Fermi gas, where the electron electron interaction doesn't exist. In the lowest low SG, the electron will fill the lowest energy band. And in the 2D, sorry. Uh, in the two dimension and the three dimension cases in the case space, basically it's either a circle or sphere sphere or sphere in a three dimension. At the fact, at the final temperature, uh, we have some kind of a, a low energy excitation around the Fermi surface. So there is no can, any perturbation or any interaction between this excitation with others. The lifetime, and there is the lifetime of this, this particle could be infinitely long. And in the energy, yeah. uh, in the station search form, you can see here it is a delta function, very, very sharp. Here. And if we introduce some weak interaction between the electron, and here we go, here we have the non of forming liquid theory, which is kind of a very, very powerful and kind of standard model, model for most of the metals. In this case, is, there has been yeah, very, very relatively weak interaction between the electron. We can, we can change the electronic surface, but it's still relatively smooth. And you have the quasi particle at a finite temperature as the low, low energy excitation. Uh, and as the, the electron, the property of the material are still dominated by the, by the particle around this. Uh, uh, forming energy surface, and we still have the reasons proportional to the temperature set at the low temperature, and the heat capacity proportional to temperature. The idea of this particle is very serious, but not only in the forming liquid series. Also, also successful, successful for other aspects such as the. Uh, Fractional quantum Hall effect, where you can think the quasi particle have fraction, fractional charge. And, and what happens when the London is not liquid the same spirit? In the case, is, is happening when the left and left interaction are relatively strong, are really strong. I mean, there are some examples, such as the brain and the quantum critical syringe metal. If we further look at the, the resistivity and on temperature, if we, if we please price the returns as the, some resistive resistivity plus uh, coefficient multiplied by the temperature to alpha, we find that the just 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 above the optimal range is it, the alpha equal to one. And in the YRS, when we apply the different field along CX, CX, we can see that, that the alpha equal to one situation can exist in very low temperature. On the two sides, two sides of the liquid with alpha equal to with alpha equal to two. And in this kind of in this kind of region where the resistance is near T and the C goes like T log T. So we are kind of wondering if they are still well defined or not. So let's let's focus on this. Let's focus on this uh, second phase diagram. At very low temperature, 
we have antifermatic semi liquid in the uh, on the left side here, we are we simply focus on the temperature wave. And it goes through, goes through the transition to permanent permanent hypothermia. And besides it, between the phase, we have strange metal. And this strange metal can extend from very low temperature to a very, very large temperature range, and which also make our, make our measurement possible. This is the structure of the beam building two sitting to sink field. And thanks to the great efforts of our collaborators, this spent a very long time figuring out how to grow this molecule beam as a textile film on the germanium substrate with almost perfect crystal, crystal structure match. And after we go the material, the biggest question here is how to fabricate this. So the ethereum rhodium is with kind of very robust stuff. It's good because that it's not sensitive to the electron beam to sink them to lock a lot, lot of base. means you can try a lot of fabrication methods. But also make the fabrication hard since it's much more robust than the, the germanium remaining sub which means it's out of uh, you cannot find a very good selective edge method that can only edge away the tubing routine to select to without damaging any part of our substrate. So for now, our best method is to use the, the argon that can edge to physically remove the material, which have relatively low selectivity on the old substrate and uh, the film, which means the action is roughly on the same order. And with what, uh, this is how we made this uh, not constricted because of this side. So we first deposit very thick gold, gold big pad and the six nanometer chromium as a protective layer, layer. And in the second step, we deposit another nano layer where uh, chromium mass mass for the nano layer. Yeah. And after that, that's low pressure, high power, gong, RE, RE, to actually the exposed part. And finally, the chromium mass will be removed by the uh, uh, warm concentrated uh, hydrochloric acid. So one question after the application is that is the well as still the well as I think of. So basically, why does this fabrication method, method change its property of totally damaged the material? So this is the how the device looks like. Like have some big pile on the two two sides where connection and and middle. You have you have, you have some kind of a narrow gap, and with uh, unaware inside here. So to make to make our, our fabrication that does not bring the sample. sample. We measure the, the R versus T, which is showing by, showing by the third figure here. The blue curve is, is pattern one, and the, the, the red one is the, the, our the very device. device. And, and it turns out that the ratio of the R versus T, or if, or if we in, in this uh, low temperature range, it's still very similar with, with uh, almost similar with the original film. And we also double check the magnetic resistance with, with uh, implant magnetic field. And it turns out uh, that's for the original film. So, which means for now, now we finally get some kind of a non thermal liquid nano -wire. And that means we can move to the next step. Which is a uh, short noise moment. So I, I know this is this is a uh, very very it's not a very uh, common method that people use. So I will spend a little more time explaining how the short noise work and what it is, where it comes from. So let's start with, start with classical classical short noise. It basically is a kind of reflection, statistical description of the discrete current actually so what many people want to ask so since the it's, it's related to the arrival of the electron 
So can you tell you can, can this potential always uh how noise tell you some more information about how they actually move in the in the real space? Uh, uh, uh no, it's not that powerful, but still can give you more information other than the you know, the, the, the curve. So it was first experimentally discovered in 19, uh, 1918 in vacuum vacuum by Shaki uh, which have this kind of form. The current here is the average current. So the show automatically reflects the variation of the current current. So, uh, in the situation where we are actually not sure has no interact at all for the vacuum vacuum irrational absorbed and ejected to the receiver receiver. And uh, the total current is decided by this kind of discrete arrival level. And the electron electron is it, there's no interaction. It means that even if you go one one electron now, you still have no idea here when the next electron will come. In other words, the distribution with the level of time distribution. In this, you will go current uh, source is equal to two e i. Proportional to the current. And if the dash photon has some kind of interaction, things could become kind of complicated and different. So if we introduce the final fact here, as the uh the noise noise t over to EI, right? We we can use this to describe some different form of phenomena. So for example, here for the F. Cost for one case, that's the electron electron that's not any like detection. Like, oh, this is in a, in a, in a tunnel in cases. If the electron form of head, which means the electron all is arrived together, well, the effect you can think that the charge of R2E. And in this case, the final effect will go to two. And in some other cases, for example, uh, we see there's a very strong blocking, which means that. Once you get the right platform, uh, cannot get the next one immediately. Uh, in this situation, they will, they will reduce the flash ratio. Uh, in the perfect situation, we can, we can reduce the final pair even to zero. And also, at the final temperature, uh, also at low pass, it will be smeared out by the source. Uh, and we give you the formula here. Cotangent EV over GPG, which means that when the, when the voltage you apply is much EV is much larger than the KBT, you will go, go to back to this linear range. Otherwise, it will gradually go back to go to the thermal noise And what we wonder is in the switch metal cases, what we are. And uh, there's no Kind of a theory uh, background on this, so we, we can guess. So, for example, still have this particle and uh, no interaction with what I to one. And uh, if there's some pair, you can probably have F larger than one. If there's no possible particle at all, we probably find the will be strongly surprised. And uh, this is uh, the noise in the diffusive concentration region or nano wear, uh, which is the which is our sample. And the short noise formula will become a little bit different. And I need to explain this a little bit. So it's related to the length sense of your wire, basically the, the dimension of your, your sample. When it's very short, very short, and short much in the mean free pass. Electric transport from one side to the other side is almost plastic. You cannot detect any short noise at all. We, if the length of the dress increase gradually, but still much sharper than the uh, uh, electron electron scattering lines. In this case, there are two kind of theoretical model to explain why one effector would go to one over three. The first one assumes some. A lot of uh, channel in the wire, and also uh, the random random series, which will finally go to uh, 
get you got to get you f equal to one or three, three. And then there's another exact example. Oh, sorry. <laughs> A uh, semi-classical theory, uh, which uh, which gives you the the, the 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 distribution on the two on the two side outside where a very sharp step that in the in the middle of the where is the linear combination of the two set the two side basically in the middle of the where it will become kind of step function and you use, use, use that that use that uh, uh function and some uh fluctuation of the uh occupation number they also can go to the one the one if the if the number goes longer such as the it's much longer than the international scattering in this is in this case the international scattering can makes the uh makes the international get locally equilibrium the uh, in locally, the at every place the the follows the form semi distribution. The temperature will be in the middle, low on the two side, and the chemical potential will linearly go in one side to another side. And in this case, this, what you measure is actually the total contribution of the thermal noise of the each position. And so you can think that you effectively measure the average, average temperature of the. the if it goes longer, the effort will play an important role. So originally, the, the energy are, con are contained in the electron. If it goes longer, the scattering electron and the phono will make the energy lose to the phono, and the phono effect will become very small. And then this is our data. On the left side is the wire and the right side is the wire. Let me explain this a little bit. So we have four different four different temperature data. Let's look at the three K. So the, the color the colorful one is our data. The the, the black one here here I so so so, also. so we have this formula. We define the final factor as the excellent noise uh, over two e i, which means that when when f one we will have a b i over to to kvt if f equal to Zero, you will go back to the PBT DVDI, yeah, which is some noise. And uh, we can see that, that uh, and also I plot the uh, F equals to one over three and F equals to zero situation. We can see that is uh, the, uh, the point is very close, actually more, more close to the F equals to one. And uh, the, it's in, in the long range is about, about the zero and the one five, five, which means the some noise is strongly minimized. But in the gold cases, which is which is equated, and we found that that the it must go to one over three basically. So it implies either uh, yeah, probably uh, yeah, yeah. Have, uh, uh, well find the positive part. Still need to remember that uh, yeah. there's some. Let's take one step back. Let's suggest that if there is the particle, we need to consider the contribution of the phono. So how the how the phono the, the would dump all the energy uh, from the electron. So, so this is a, a formula. So in the case of very strong uh, electron intact, which form the uh, uh, local equilibrium, uh, you can indicate as a, as a drawing uh, some electrical conduction action, which we will follow the Weidman first law. And the energy energy for the electron phono. Which is uh, the finest and the finer. And the gamma here represents how strong the electron phono current company. And here is uh, some example. I manually uh, increase this from top to bottom. I, I manually increase the prism, which we can show that if we, we force the gamma to be very, very, very large. We can really, really use the temperature profile for almost the flat white one. And how strongly we need to suppress the noise. And it turns out that, that we need the gamma to be about 17 times larger than the gold. Would that be possible? We, to double check this, we made a long way, which is also, also whereas. Which this time is much longer, longer, which means that, that the energy to be phono to dominate this situation 
And we got that the, the gamma for uh, on three to cycles uh, uh, Kelvin Kelvin. is five, uh, 6.5, 7.5, 10 to, uh, 10 to minus 10, 10 to 9, 9, respectively, which is on the sum of order of the goal. So that's the, that means that the phonon does not play an important role in this, in this case. It's comparable with goals, which means that the short noise suppression, in this case, it will support for a particular well defined result. The energy loss cannot come from the phono, and that's the only way for now can reduce the phono factor if, if the code particle is well defined. Which, which in other words, it indicates the light of the particle in our uh, in this material. And how to think about this? So, so we, the phono factor we got from the material is, is here. It's passed from the well area of from squares squares to of it's more close to zero. And we already explained that the, the, these two require some uh, well defined particle. If this if there's no well defined particle, it will behave like a fluid, which will simply require some noise. And the a uh, fantastic poster made by E1, which shows that if the cross particle is well defined, and even if you have very strong interaction between the cross particle, you will still go back to fundamental equal square 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 equals four, which in case, in other words, also supports our our conclusion now that the the short law really really the like of short uh, like of cross particle. Uh, but still, there would be some warning to do, so, especially how to quantitatively understand this. So, and also, is this general in other systems? So, there's still a lot of things we need to discuss, probably in the future. And thanks to our uh, collaborators, uh, uh, all the other people, especially my advisor, Dallas Nicholson, and Silk. Um, provide this fantastic film and Shimiao provide insightful theoretical explanation and all other people. And many thanks to our funding, <laughs> which is uh, the, the, the basics of the experiment. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Is it possible to do this experiment at Shepard? Across the T linear where it goes around the back. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I know. I, I think what you, you mean. mean. So, what do you mean from here? Here or all the obvious? Oh, wait, wait, I can be oh, So, in the very, very few cases, uh, so the biggest problem is the would be the phono. So the phono, you know, is coming in the drop, but when the temperature in release, there will be no phono, which means that it start to gradually play an important role in the in this. And so currently we are really focusing on the non fermi situation, which basically range from the uh from what is low temperature probably to and, and, and uh, in, the, in the high temperature cases, uh, not only the phonon, but also the the severe severe of the thermal thermal noise. We also make your environment very energy from the from the side. In this material, this resistance saturates, so not really a bad bad. Yes, yeah. uh, yes. It doesn't go above the monium directly. So, what temperature does that happen? What is Oh, so he can't go now. Yeah. So, I was curious what is the magnetic field? You see that on the energy part. So, sorry, let me. Maybe. I thought the heat of regime using the From here to here. 
So, yeah. so that's a, a, a very good question. So, uh, so first, uh, we cannot go down to this temperature. So this temperature will be point some point zero or point five some k. So our low temperature is three k. Also, doing the experimental in the low, very low temperature range is very challenging from the experimental side. So first, first the region is small, which means the working noise from it generated from it is also quite small. In this case, it's and also, and also it's apply a very large current called voltage. Otherwise, uh, the, the effective temperature of the induction will immediately go out of this range. range. So if you want to do this, the experiment in this, you need a really, really, really low current and a low temperature and a, a fantastic noise all in office. Uh, even you have that, it's still very kind of challenging. Basically, basically because this range is all there, all there. It cannot go to very high temperature like the the switch metal phases, which also, also oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, so, so uh, in, in a, yes, I yeah, yes, yes, and also because of the here with this experiment, we can see the change, we can see clearly more change of the noise rather than the kind of a, yes, because there's some background in the system, but we can, can when we, we, we tune the, the picture, we can see the change of range of the noise with the with match with the, the recent change. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You didn't show that. Or, 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 or. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I can I can pull it pull it the next time, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I cannot hear. Yeah. yeah. So oh, we are in the very high temperature. Well, compare with this, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, so we 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 apply. The large man in the field, but we do not see clear change. So, sorry, what? So, so, uh, is that cannot be, cannot be. Oh, uh, we did not think about this for now. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Right? <laughs> Don't consider this. Yeah. Um, I was curious if uh, you know, make this argument about the about the hold on, wait on, hold on, scattering. Can I have just naively add a spin back to that? Uh, and the electron conducting each spin back, uh, the other the experiment effectively rule that out as well. Uh, that's an assumption. Uh, you are right. We cannot, if there are some other way that the electron can dump energy efficiently, uh, uh, it could be possible, but we, we cannot put it to all of that for now. But from the uh, the, the basic family picture, uh, we don't have that. If, if you have that one, probably yeah, but still require a lot, a lot of work and some other expensive design to figure out why there is this, this kind of a thermal base that can dump the energy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to go to the next one. Very lucky, man.